Hi everyone, this is Peter from the Mindful Share Trader blog again, and welcome to the seventh video in this chart reading series. And today's video is part two of how to identify weakness on a stock market chart. Uh, it follows on from part one, which I put up a couple of weeks ago, and I'd recommend you go back and watch that first before you watch this one. Uh, and the link is up there in the top right part of the screen. Now today I'll be looking at some other signs of weakness on the chart. We'll take a look at the shortening of the thrust, some top reversal patterns and buying climaxes. So we'll start first with um, the shortening of the thrust, which kind of sounds like something to do with fighting with swords, but I can assure you it isn't. Um, it's actually one of the most obvious and I'd have to say overlooked signs of weakness that you get on the chart. <laughs> It's very commonly seen at market tops and it causes the rolling over effect of a market. So what is it? Well, it means that as every new high is made, the distance that it moves gets progressively less than the one before. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll go to the, this uh, current Dow Jones chart here and uh, I'll hopefully be able to make it clear if you understand. So as you can see on here, I've drawn some blue lines through all the high points of the top of this uh, the chart here. And you can see we've very clearly this rolling over effect. Um, this is caused by um, some selling coming in as, as each high gets made more and more selling comes in and so it stops the the highs progressing as far each time so you get this sh what's called shortening of the thrust and we can make that uh, I can probably show that a lot clearer by if we draw a couple of red lines on here let's go to this and we'll copy that now we'll put some some of these through here too. Okay, and then one other one here. And the last one up here. So with these red lines in place, you can clearly see that as the price highs progress, the gap between them is getting less and less and less. And that's a sure sign of weakness um, in a market. So that's basically your shortening of the thrust. And uh, next we'll have a look at some uh, top reversal patterns. Now there are a couple of different types of patterns that signify weakness that we can clearly see on a chart when we know what we're looking for. And the first of these is the two bar reversal pattern. It's very commonly seen in conjunction with up thrusts. Now if you recall from the previous video, uh, an up thrust is a sign of weakness not to be ignored. Uh, they have more significance in downtrends and uptrends, but if they form part of a two bar reversal, uh, at a market top or in an area of previous resistance and they add to the weakness uh, at the very least they'll usually send the market or the stock sideways for a while uh, if we have a look at the monthly gold chart here uh, we can clearly see that there's a two bar reversal right here and it's comprised of this uh, this first bar on very high volume that makes a new high and then immediately it's followed by this bar also on high volume that closes in the lower part of the bar. And what we're seeing here is a lot of supply coming in on this first bar and the subsequent collapse in the price on the second. So everybody would have thought that the, the gold was going to new highs here and they all rushed in to buy. And of course the smart money was selling to them in this bar. Uh, another pattern that's very similar to this is the uh, top reversal pattern and it's essentially the same type of pattern but we would see the second bar here closing down below the low of this bar. Uh, both patterns are very strong signs of weakness and if you see no demand after seeing this then that's a strong confirmation of that weakness and it's a good place to go short and we can see that uh, you know here was a no demand bar and you can see what happened to the price after that. Um, just as a note as well, this, this bar here is actually an upthrust too. So there was a lot of signs of weakness in here. Lots of volume, lots of weakness. And uh, the price rolled downhill after that. So this brings us to our last couple of signs of weakness on the chart. And on the chart here we can clearly see our first type. Uh, this particular bar here, it's a widespread bar on very high volume. And it's what is known as a buying climax. Now the criteria for the buying climax is a widespread bar on very high or ultra high volume into fresh new ground after a sustained uptrend. And this is the smart money basically selling into the euphoric buying of the herd. Uh, prices don't always reverse immediately, but that amount of selling will have an effect and we can clearly see what the effect was after that. Uh, very often these kind of bars occur when uh, some kind of important news comes out about the stock and it causes the public to to come in and, and buy heavily and of course the smart money just in there selling to them. Uh, we can also see here that 
the price moved back up into this area on this bar here, attempting to get higher again, failed miserably on, on much lower volume, and uh, that would have been the, the good point to go short here, as we can see what the result is after that. Now the other type of buying climax that we have is shown here on this chart, and it's what's known as an island reversal. We can see that kind of quite clearly up here. And it's probably called this because the price gaps up into fresh new ground and kind of looks somewhat like a little island of price action all on its own. And what we see with this kind of reversal is a, a narrow spread bar, generally, but this one is a little bit wider, on very high volume. Again, preferably into new fresh ground and also after sustain up move. And this again is a clear sign of heavy selling with sellers capping the price into the narrower spread and the narrower it is, the more intense the selling pressure and we can see the result of that um, as it rolls over afterwards. Okay, so well that's basically it for this um, video and uh, I hope that you've uh, gained some insights on how to identify weakness on the chart. I would suggest as always go look at some charts and start trying to identify uh, what it looks like when it's coming in based on the principles that I've outlined uh, in this and the previous video and uh, it's well worth learning because it will help you a lot with trading especially um, when if you can see weakness coming in on the chart it can actually uh, save you before you uh, you get caught on the wrong side of a trade. Now most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the yellow button and you'll be notified as more videos go up. Also don't forget to head on over to mindfulsharetrader.com sign up for the newsletter there you'll receive updates on all my content as well as extra content that's not on the blog. Uh, thanks for watching and until next time bye for now.